video we are going to talk about exchange transport rule or the feature of microsoft exchange server and office 365 that allow administrators to set a condition and uh, actions to be applied uh, to the message as they pass through the messaging transport pipeline it's a very uh, important feature of uh, exchange and uh, every administrator should use it uh, properly uh, these rules can be used for the variety of purpose such as applying messaging uh, messaging disclaimer or the footer blocking or redirecting message based on the certain conditions such as a sender address or the presence of a certain keywords in the uh, subject or the body also you can do the encryption uh, inscription also you can apply the encryption signing messages or uh, applying message classification or modifying message headers as well so these are this kind of um, uh, rules you can create from the exchange transport rules and uh, rules section you can see from the exchange admin center and there is a, under the mail flow tab you will see the rules application uh, rules tab is there here there are a lot of options uh, is given already out of the box a lot of options are there um, apply disclaimer bypass spam filter filter message by size if about uh, 20 MB or 30 MB or uh, that kind of uh, restrictions or the monitoring things we can put uh, through this rule section so a lot of uh, interesting things uh, and uh, you can play play from this and uh, you can have a upper hand on the all the control uh, or a security policy in your organization quickly i will create a one rule for you uh, this is a very simple rule uh, i'll put the condition if the sender is specific id in if he sends the email to the my specific recipient in my organization then just redirect that email to my id okay so i'll do that uh, by going here add rule and create a new rule i'll put the redirect to a mole and i'll set the if the sender is external organization outside of organization and the say see you can see the sender is located not in organization and i'll add more one condition more that okay and recipient is is this person uh, i'll just test user test user 2 i'll just copy this email id yeah and do the following redirect message to recipient amount so simple query is if the sender is external organization any all the emails from the external organization if anyone send the email to the taste 2 then that message will redirect to my id the power at the rate easy first security.com okay and i'm not putting any exception so i'll just click the next and enforce and uh, these are the active rule on and deactive rule and for a specific period uh, you can keep this uh, rule active so that that uh, feasibility uh, also there so i'll just click next and finish okay done now I'll quickly i'll open my hotmail id okay and i'll i'll send an email to test user okay i'll just remove this part test test user to and email from hotmail to test to okay so this is the subject line and i am just sending this email to test to send so email is gone i'll just quickly i'll open my outlook and we'll see if that email is redirected to my account or not just i'll check quickly and you can see the messages came here and i will show you quickly uh, the email is coming from amul power 297 hotmail.com and this email was sent to test user 2 now how we can check that if this email was coming and uh, how you can audit basically this so you can go go you can go here under the mail flow tab uh, message trace and you can create a start start trace and you can put the email id amul uh, power uh, nice. com, and i just quickly i'll just put a six hour and i'll search 
and I have sent a couple of emails and uh, you can open the one the first one and if you see the mail accounts and forwarding and then stop forwarding and save this is the, the security notification because uh, email redirection is a part of a security thing and it's by default it is disabled in office 365 so you can see here uh, the message was directed to uh, this person and uh, this is the way you can check whether this email is redirected or not and which transport rule uh, redirect, redirected this email so that id or the name it's also showing here so this is the way you can create a uh, rules uh, rules in office 365 and uh, transport rule are a powerful feature that allow administrator to create a flexible and the powerful messaging policies um, that can be used to secure, control, and optimize the flow of message in the organization. Uh, in my next video, I will cover the policy for maintaining email security such as uh, anti-spam, anti-malware, and anti-phishing. Uh, please stay tuned and happy learning. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.